in this process, we're going to practice each one of these letter styles, but we're not necessarily going to practice them in order. So at first, as you've already seen, we begin with some simple shapes, the L, for instance, the bottom part of the I, we're then going to get into strokes that are very similar. Notice how the stroke of the H is so similar to the stroke of the I. So we'll get into these letters which start similar to an L and similar to the I and we will continue with those. The M, the N, H, and maybe we'll even get to the R. I'm not going to mark these two, but it's definitely a possibility that we can mark them if you guys need to. So the first stroke we'll begin with is the L. I'm holding my calligraphy pen at 45 degree angle. I'm coming up to the mark, moving my entire hand to complete the stroke. Now I would encourage you to continue doing this stroke until you feel very confident. Next, I want you to begin working with the eye shape, which is simply a shorter shape, the same exact stroke, it's just that now I'm beginning, or I'm allowing the stroke to come all the way up to the top of this line. Notice how much nicer this eye looks than this one. This one I sort of gave it a snake. I got a little bit screwy on the end there. So I'm going to concentrate more on moving my entire hand and keeping that stroke straight. Yes, when I'm sure to move my entire hand, I get less of that sort of funky stuff there. I'm going to go ahead and move on to an H now. So the H begins like an L, but I'm going to simply stop it more abruptly. I'll come up as high as I did with the L, I move my entire hand, and then I stop before I come around. The second part of the H is very much like the I. I want to make sure to keep the top curved, perhaps a little bit more curved than the I, so I bring it up. I move my entire hand down, and I give it a swirl at the bottom. Once again, with my marker at 45 degrees, I give a slightly rounded top. I stop cold at the bottom. Now, the second part, good, nice, rounded top, and a slight curve at the bottom. Once again, I want you to practice this one until you feel like you are uh, getting it down. Your spaces should be consistent within here. I'm using a little less than one space there, but if we need to have a rule, what would that rule be? Uh, you know, uh, that's all I'm going to say. It's a little bit less than a full space. I'm going to go down to the next line now, and I'm going to begin in the same fashion, but this time I'm going to create an N. So with an N, I begin like I began the I, just at the top of this smaller space. I'm bringing that down and stopping and then I will finish it the same way I did the H. Okay, I got away from my lines a little bit. Let me make sure that I'm doing this appropriately. Like the eyes, I want to end up with my, the right side of my tool touching the line. So I'll come up, slight curve at the top, stop abruptly. Now, Like the H, 
I am coming down a little bit less than a full space there. Stop abruptly, come to the top. I'm getting a little bit away from my line. It's squeezing a little bit at the bottom, but I'll simply try to rectify that by doing what I know, by keeping my calligraphy pen at a 45 degree angle, by moving my entire hand, by spacing it correctly and following my uh, vertical marks and my horizontal marks. An M is done very similar to these. It's simply, uh, we repeat that first stroke a couple of times. I do up to the top, bring it down to a dead stop. I do the next one slightly less than a full space. And then the next one, I begin the same. I bring this down, a little swoop at the end. Notice that my position of this one was not good. So I'm going to continue rehearsing this until I believe that I can do it consistently. I'm much happier with that. Oops. We're going to make mistakes. It cannot be, we can't make that the end of our world.